I don't think you should have young men. I think the bloodline should end with you. We don't need no more of you running around. I'm saying it because you ain't gonna have no son. Regarding the land initiative, there's nothing there. So when, come on down to UP Farms, there's nothing there. There's like, literally, there's nothing there. It's like, it's like going to a desert and there's nothing there. Real business is getting done. Y'all already know what time it is. Um, and this is what it's about. A lot of y'all online and you know, y'all got a lot of negative energy, a lot of a lot of a lot of things to say. But are y'all actually linking up, getting the work done, making moves, making things possible? Right. Real talk. And that's the problem. Everybody's doing a lot of talking, but they ain't making no moves. yourself with these YouTube uh, Pharisees, where all they want to do is congregate and talk about nothing. You know what I mean? It's one thing if you're addressing a real issue that's affecting the community, but it seems like on YouTube, you can't get brothers to join to build anything. But what we, what we will join to do is tear down people that are actually doing something. You ain't having no sons. And I don't give a damn who feel what about it. You did this. You brought this on yourself. And destruction coming your way. Because you a filthy demon. That nothing is developed in the land. There's no internet. Um... There's no waste management. There's no uh, water. They have like a little pump. It ain't doing anything. Like it, it took them 20 years to just to fill up the pool. Like for the jamboree, it took them like literally hours just to fill it up. It's like it's, it's crazy. Um, there's no electrical. As I have said before, it will take UP Farms at least $50 million to industrialize the landscape. Who's going to eat the bill for all of that? When this thing launched, they were trying to compete with Dirty Low Dow by embracing Pastor Rufus, who was excommunicated from Straightway, Georgia, by Dirty Low Dow. Now, New Breed has fell out with Pastor Rufus, Ringo TV, Brainwaves, and Messy Mark the Messenger. I understand that New Breed has invited all people to establish businesses on the land so that they share the cost, but People will need to live on the land before business can be done. And of course, you need water and electricity to sustain residential and commercial landscape. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Umar Johnson, who collected over $1 million for a school during a 10-year span. Well, the cost of this land initiative may exceed the cost of building a school four times over. And many of New Breed's followers have come here with questions about division and accuse me of attacking the brothers. They themselves don't ask questions or they don't just blindly go invest all that they have in this land initiative. Okay, that's what these videos are for, to ask questions. Otherwise, you're just a fanboy and a fence sitter. If you invest 25K then make it public and give an estimation on how much everything will cost because I doubt anyone will invest even 10K if they are not confident the collective can raise the remaining 49999000 So what happens to the $10,000? And Weird Old TV, you knew this all along, but continue. And the thing... I was going to invest a large sum of money in UP Farms, bro. I was going to do that, fam. I'm glad I didn't, but I was going to do that. But what I was waiting for, to be honest with you, like to be very, really, really honest with you, what I was waiting for was for them brothers, and this is my word, I was waiting for them to come to me and be like, yo, we called about getting the electrical set up getting everything wired up. Um, we're gonna have internet out here. We're gonna have signal. Everything's gonna be ready. Um, the bottom line payment for that is X, Y, and Z. So once we get that situated, um, we can put money in the pot together, work on doing this. Fam, I would have been all in. If they, if they would have came with the information that is needed, because I, I asked about it. I asked about these particular things. It's in the DMs, they both know. I asked about these things. If that would have came up, I would have put money into that. When Weirdo TV and New Breed first collaborated, they mentioned the separation of church and state. New Breed used the scriptures as reference for the end times, talking about hyperinflation 
that will cripple life as we know it. Weird Old TV was singing a different song. He was talking about living your life. So how can two walk together except they agree? This is proof that New Breed dismissed all the information he had about Weird Old TV so he can get his money. There was a lot of scandal, a lot of mud, and a stench attached to the name of Weird Old TV before and during the time New Breed decided to fool with him. But since New Breed said he wants to separate church and state, he looked the other way. Also, it was a dumb business move for New Breed to even associate himself with Weird Old TV because he has more subscribers than Weird Old TV and he knew that Weird Old TV would be a cancer to his brand. Because that would have gave me the motivation to now say I can work on that land because you have plumbing, electrical, and Wi-Fi signal. You can have internet. You can have, they have the wiring out there. So that is what I was waiting for. But that is not even out there. Nothing is there, bro. Nothing is there. And he knows it. And this is why it's sad because all those people that came out there, all they did is have some chicken on a grill. That's it. With, with bugs, because I can guarantee you, all that barbecuing, it was, it was mixed with bugs. I want to continue to keep this forum open about the false doctrine of polygyny, the false doctrine that both of these men teach, uh, teaching another Jesus, that he is not God when he is. And please understand, this is how I was introduced to Ringo TV. But when you criticize what they are doing, they change the narrative, them and their followers, accusing you of hating. No. Let's deal with the scriptures. I hope New Breed has at least learned that you cannot separate church and states. So while y'all eating that chicken, there's some flies in it too. The amount of bugs that were flying out there, I'm pretty sure them bugs was landing on them chickens and them, them pork chop ribs. I don't know if they ate pork chops. I don't think so. But if they were eating steaks and chickens, it had some fleas and flies in there too. And some wasps and bees. That stuff was in there too. Even the bill for pest control on the landscape will be insurmountable. Think I'm going to be out there laying down in a tent with my kids, bro? In a tent? So what am I supposed to be doing? Getting it in with a woman inside of the tent? And everybody can hear? How that look I'm on the land in a tent getting it in and everybody can hear what's going on. No privacy. Can't even get no head, bro. Can't even get no head. I'm in the tent trying to get some top. Here comes somebody looking in tent. You're with us out looking in tent. You all right? I'm just checking up. Make sure everybody good. Bro, I'm getting some head. What are you doing? No breed. This is the weirdo you once called the brother. And I'm sure if Ringo TV called up New Breed and repented to him and put everything on film and said, look, here's 10 bands, New Breed would accept and hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. But <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to gather support without these issues. You cannot convince me that New Breed was not aware of some of the perverted, inflammatory, blasphemous things Ringo TV has said. I mean, how sick is this dude, Weird Old TV? How does he think? What spirit triggers those thoughts? And how did Yawitaza become a part of his sick fetish? But what if your kids saw you talking like that? So I, I don't want y'all to think for a second that I knew these things that I'm about to show y'all about this man. Because one would say, New Breed, if you feel that way about Ringworm, why would you even allow him or, or allow him around or associate? Let me make this clear. I had to go research this cat. I literally had to go research what this man is about. And I had to go see what I'm dealing with here. After he did what he did, I had to go back and, and look at what's going on here. 
This is why some Hebrew Israelite brothers and myself ask you, no breed, who exactly will be permitted on the land? What investments won't you accept? You say you don't discriminate, you're all about business, and you're willing to separate church and states. So I'm going to ask you once again, who are you willing to allow on the land? I understand you do not own the land, but you do own your own brand. No pun intended. But if something scandalous and or abominable perpetuates on the land, will you encourage your followers to vacate and you yourself disassociate your name from the land? Just answer the questions. Listen. Your 16, 17, whatever year old daughter is already getting busy. So why are you talking all this crap? Oh, my daughter ain't this. My daughter would never do that. Anybody mess with my daughter, I'm going to put hands on them. BS. Brothers are putting meat in your daughter right now. Heavy meat is going inside your daughter that you swear by. Why does he get so excited when he mentioned heavy meat? <laughs> This is just something that I wonder, you know, like what what what's really wrong with him? Like, don't you know if you really a man of Yah? Don't you know sometimes people watch our videos with their children there? They watch their they watch our videos with their family present, trying to learn something. Families are trying to learn. And you always firing off at the mouth about some damn heavy meat. No matter how you see it, if you got daughters, somebody somewhere is going to put meat inside your daughter. But this, this is the man who want to act like he down for everybody's daughters. This is the man that swear up and down that daughters are a blessing, which I do believe all children are a blessing. But he's obsessed with y'all's daughters, the way he's speaking, how vile about how your daughters are getting hit with heavy meat. And he stays on this for a while. All through this video, He's just talking like a straight up pervert. Again, Ringo TV made these type of videos during the years you supported him. The idiots who support you were watching his content and never shared it with you. I find that hard to believe. You still wanted his money and now you're just trying to save face. Let me just point to what y'all dealing with over here. But he's calling everybody a demon, but he took the time, right? He took the time to go literally make art of himself as a demon. A demon. I wouldn't even feel comfortable making a thumbnail like that, but that is his alter ego. Weirdo TV is filled with many demons. But no breed, you once called him a man of God who has been in this truth for years. Is that not what you said? And I'm calling everybody out in this stream, too. And I don't care how you feel about it. I'm calling everybody out in this stream. I had elders reach out to me and tell me, well, I reached out to them, going to them in privacy. And respect to Pastor Rufus, because, you know, I look at you as a respected man, but you took it to social media telling the world that you you came to me and tried to warn him. I tried to warn him. I tried to tell him not to snap. I told him how to deal with it. Bro, why you didn't just keep that private? Why when I kirked off and snap? Why not call him, give me a call and say, brother Newbreed, come on, man. I just talked to you, man. I see you deleted it. I'm trying to calm you down, but you know what I'm saying? What's going on, brother? Calm down, brother. But instead, hey, I tried to tell him. I tried to warn him. 
But when this man continually, after I've done numerous apologies, numerous apologies, he's allowed to keep on attacking me. Mark the messenger. You jump ship. You play both sides. You took it as an opportunity when you thought I was down and out being attacked publicly to say you feel like I'm using you. Then you tried to jump in my chat and stated that old boy over there is doing what he's doing for views. And then you want to distance yourself and wash your hands with it like you ain't never did nothing. Y'all really feel like I deserve this? Pastor Rufus is also monitoring the progress of UP Farms and what may be in it for him. And thus far, he sees no substance. And therefore, your relationship with him has suffered because of it. And Mark the Messenger is just messy. He's messy and ambitious. And that's a dangerous combination. But I do think it will be a mistake. I don't know if. New Breed is considering doing business with Dirty Low Dow, but that certainly will be the biggest mistake he has made thus far. Because Dirty Low Dow is only interested in having dudes subjected to him, and he's not a man of character, okay? But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts, and enjoy the rest of your day.